Welcome back to the channel. I am Demarius Jackson. If you're a new visitor, welcome to the channel. And I am back with the lick of the week. It's been a while, but we are back. Today's lick is a diminished lick that you can use over diminished seventh chords. So without further ado, let's cut right to it. All right, so let's first talk about forming a diminished chord. If you have no clue what that is, uh, let's just stick with the bare basics. So all you want to do is be able to stack minor thirds. So I'm going to do this in uh, my D and I'll write it in D on the uh, on the little screen here below. But it's going to be D. You can transpose and do all that stuff. Stack minor thirds. So if we have a D, a minor third above that is F. The next minor third above that is A flat. The next minor third is B. And then the next minor third returns us back to that D. So... I'm sure you've probably heard that sound before. All right, so the next step, and we're talking about a fully diminished, a whole half, as somebody asks you, like, what kind of diminished skill are you playing? I'm playing a whole half diminished. Anyway, the next step, what you want to do is precede each one of those minor thirds with a half step below. So let's start off with the first one. Our first interval was D to F natural. A half step below the F natural is the E. So, and then that whole half comes into play when we talk about the scale. So there's a whole step between the D and the E and a half step between the E and the F. All right, now let's go to the next one. Our next one is F and A flat. So a half step below the A flat is G natural. Sorry about the little glitch. Let's re-record that. All right, and our next uh, interval was A flat to B natural. A half step there is a B flat, a half step below. And then finally, we end it back uh, where we started with that tonic D. We can call that our root note, if you will. And a half step below that is obvious, obviously a uh, C sharp. So, the lick that I just played at the beginning of the video is basically a digital pattern, if you will, off of the diminished scale. In the minish scale, unlike most scale, this is a octatonic scale. So if you count all the notes, it has eight notes in it total. So let's play the lick. I'll play it slowly. You'll pick up on the pattern, but we'll talk about it a little bit after. <laughs> on the pattern if we assign each note a number and so this is what I mean by digital scale if we assign each note a number it would be one two three four I'm not even gonna try to sing that one two three four two three one two three four five six four four five three four five six Seven, eight, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, tonic. That was pretty poor. I'm not even going to edit that out. Anyway, you kind of get the gist. If you don't, I will have it scrolled down at the bottom of the video here where you can follow along. Once again, let's play it all together. <laughs> have it that is this week's lick of the week check me out on jazzimprovbasics.com i will have a pdf there if it's not there today i will have it asap i'll draw it up on finale and do all that stuff where you can download the pdf of this for free like my stuff comment subscribe check me out on instagram too it's demarius jackson music it's a long name but it's down in the description hope you enjoyed the video and until next week, I will see you. And by the way, I have a great saxophone mute. If you're a saxophone player, I know I have a lot of different instruments. Uh, oh, that's the intent is have 
music is music is for everybody. It's not just for the saxophone. But if you're one of my saxophone playing uh, followers, I will have a great video or shady video about a saxophone mute. <laughs> coming to you soon. See you next time.